Okay, so I usually try to keep my reviews light by only covering games that I enjoy. And often the games will do something interesting or they'll do something particularly well. But sometimes a game comes along and I agree to cover it because it looks great. And once I've started playing it, the disappointment is so overwhelming that I have to cover it anyway. Because someone's been pulling the wool over my eyes. And so it is with Sean the Sheep. Home Sheep Home Farmageddon Party Edition. The name says it all. Since it says so much already. But I love Sean the Sheep. And I love party games. So mixing the two together seemed like a great idea. I installed the game, bought some pizza, and called over the guys. Okay, well, just, just fill up. But we all got set to play it, and then the problems started to show. And speaking of the show, if you haven't seen Sean the Sheep, go and watch the entire show right now. Go ahead, I'll wait. It's good, isn't it? It's not for everybody, but the British slapstick humor is as solid as that one for fat sheep. So you'd expect an STS-based party game to be witty and full of mischief. But first off, when we clicked on the play button in Steam, it gave us an error and refused to load. Not a good sign, but I'm a gamer from the old school. So quick poke about in the game's files, and we had it running. And then the home screen showed a different title for the game. But that does happen sometimes when the game gets DLC and add-ons. Kind of like when you plan to go to the store for eggs and milk, and then you remember that you need to visit GameStop to spend your monthly $5 coupon, and you end up buying too much GameStop stuff, so you need to get a third job to pay for all the games that you don't now have time to play, and yeah. I love me some good DLCs, but then we tried finding the co-op competitive mode. And boy, oh boy! We sure couldn't find it anywhere. So maybe you have to play some of the base game to unlock the other modes, we thought. Sure, sure. So we played the base game. And it is a perfectly serviceable puzzler where you take control of one of three sheep at a time and use their special skills and sizes to get them all to the end. Through the farm and over London and off into outer space. Again, it makes far more sense if you have seen the show. Now, let's understand... When I say perfectly serviceable, I mean that you can play it, and it works, and it's even enjoyable. I do not mean that it is great or notable. It feels exactly like what it is, a Java-based mobile game ported over to Steam. The hitboxes are rigid but predictable and reliable, the controls are slow but you can learn them and adjust your playstyle to fit, and the levels are simple early on and a bit more complex at higher levels. The speed that you need to go to get stars on each level, however, is ridiculous and nigh on speedrun levels, especially since you need to switch control from one sheep to the other very rapidly in some cases. But you can unlock the next level without going that fast. But here's the real problem. Even after playing it and unlocking all three of the zones and levels, we still could not find the party mode anywhere, the one mode that I really wanted to play, and why we had the other person in the recording studio. And then we found out why. The Steam store calls this the Farmageddon Party Edition, and shows the Party Edition, and charges you for the Party Edition. But when you download it, it's not the Party Edition. And no... No, there's no DLC that we're missing. It's just the wrong game files that get downloaded from Steam. Remember the error we ran into before getting the game loading? That's Steam looking for the right files and not finding them. It knows what the files are supposed to be called, but can't find them because they're not there. And if we try changing the name to fit it correctly, suddenly we get a validation error from Steam. And yes, I did try to get support to fix it. I made comments on their Steam forum. I went through the intermediary site where the steamers get keys, and I even asked them directly, but I heard not a bah out of them. They have apparently abandoned the game. The Steam page and their own press kit shows the party game being amazing and, and even a co-op looking version of the game, which would be great, by the way, with confetti and pizza parties and electric volleyball. Do electric sheep dream of volleyball? But none of it gets downloaded when you buy the game. I hate to say it, but I'm gonna say it. It's a cash grab at best, 
a scam at worst. You do get the game, but not the game that they're selling. I hate to be overly negative over here. It makes me grouchy for the rest of the day. But when I see that it's overly positive on Steam, yet is not living up to that status, and when the game hasn't been updated in over four years, but just now shows up in key request sites for streamers to review, I have to imagine that either one... They are suppressing any negative reviews on Steam and maybe copyright striking videos that show the game poorly. Uh, make sure to like and comment and subscribe down below just in case that happens to this video. Or two, they tried to update it and went as far as sending codes to distro sites and updating the Steam page, but then died in a platypus stampede before they could publish the update. Or three, they've abandoned it halfway through the publishing process found some weird bugs that prevented the multiplayer from working correctly, and rolled back the update. I hate to think the worst of people, but what else am I supposed to think, devs? Please contact me and let me know that you've updated it, or how to download a full party edition, or what secret mumbo-jumbo magic I have to do to get it to work, and I will gladly change my review. But until then, do not buy this game. If you really want to play a Shaun the Sheep-based platforming puzzler game you can find each chapter online and play them for free. But do come back next time as we peel the bark off another backlog.